Good morning, champions. Yes, it is, and yes, you are. But that's for another uh, talk. <laughs> uh, my name is Josh Zeppis, and I'm the freedom fighter and creator of Broke is No Joke, the movement towards true freedom. And I wanted to share with you guys, hopefully, first of all, you're safe and healthy out there. Uh, I also wanted to share with you guys, I, hearing all the stuff going on with coronavirus, and um, some people are getting really crazy with it, some people are staying cool. Uh, but it started reminding me a lot of retirement. So it's, it's, it's a very interesting. In coronavirus and retirement, I'm seeing a lot of parallels as far as the preparation for either. And I wanted to share three principles really quickly that uh, we've, I've always applied, you know, being in the financial industry, I've always applied to helping people with their retirement, uh, but I, that I think are very applicable to helping people prepare for uh, coronavirus and for the pandemic that we're going through right now. So I wanted to share these three and uh, see where it goes. So first thing is listen to the experts. That's number one. Listen to the experts. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of really good sources or some not so good sources of information. Uh, but when it comes to retirement planning, for example, my number one piece of advice for, for folks is don't listen to broke people on how to get wealthy, right? Think about that. Don't listen to broke people on how to get wealthy. We do it all the time. We listen to mom and dad and our friends and all these people that have never been wealthy or never owned a business and we're asking them for advice. And that's usually not a very good idea when it comes to, well, pretty much anything that's important. So I always say, don't listen to the unsuccessful on how to be successful, the unhappy on how to be happy. You can apply it to anything. So we can apply this to the pandemic, the coronavirus. Uh, there's a lot of really good resources out there, uh, a lot of scientists, researchers, uh, experts that have been focused on pandemics and health concerns like this for a long time. Uh, I've, by the way, I've never been a fan of recommending people listen to the government. Uh, no matter what party's in control, that's irrelevant. Uh, what I would say though is listen to the government's sources. Where the, listen to the same experts that the government gets their information from and just remove the middle person, remove the, 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 the filter and go directly to that expert because we have access to that. We have access to the CDC and WHO and all these other and lots of other data sources. So it's worth taking some time and listening to the experts, right? That's number one. Number two is uh, it's okay to over prepare as long as you don't panic. So panic, let me put this in the financial industry in, in terms of retirement. Panicking does no good, right? Over preparing has usually never been too much of an issue. Here's what I mean by that. I've never, had, I've never sat down with someone, a family or a business owner, and they've never, not once, have they told me, you know, Josh, I wish we would have saved less money. We, we saved way too much money. That, that was such a big mistake. I wish we had just not saved as much money. That's never happened once. Over preparing for retirement, for your money, for your financial future, I've never had a person do it. So it's okay to over prepare a little bit, to take a little bit extra caution, to say, you know what, what if the experts are right? What if I just go ahead and, and put a little more money aside? Same thing with this pandemic. What if we over prepared? What if we just do a little bit extra um, and we end up being isolated physically from ourselves, from other people for a little while, and then at the end of the day, nothing happens? That's okay, life will go on. But what if the stuff we're hearing, what if the ex what the experts are saying is actually true? Isn't it worth taking a little bit extra caution? Not panic, that doesn't help your money and retirement savings, and it's not gonna help in the pandemic either. Um, but the one thing I usually did hear when I sat with people is they usually underprepared when it comes to money, when it came to their retirement. They underprepared. They didn't save enough money. They didn't put it in the right places. Uh, they, they didn't really know what they were doing. So it was one of those where if I had a nickel, let me put it this way. If I had a nickel for every time someone says they wish they saved more money, they wish they had prepared more, I would probably have enough money to send respirators to every healthcare worker in the United States, if not the world. All right, so number three is having a long-term vision. Having a long-term vision. So 
this is, this is really crucial. When I sat down with a, a person, when we, we talked about their future and the money, it was never about the money. Never, right? The money is important, but the money's a tool. It was all about, great, so you saved up a million dollars, you saved up $10 million or a hundred million. What are you gonna do with it? What's the purpose? You're not taking it with you, so what do you wanna do with this money? It was always about the vision of how they saw retirement, how they saw life after work. My challenge for you in terms of this pandemic is what is your vision? What is your vision for your life after this pandemic, after this is over? Because remember, we're doing this over prepping right now and you can't over prep forever. That's, that's terrible, right? You, wanna, you don't want to be locked away, isolated, you know, paying this kind of high price forever. However, if it's worth it, if you're like, you know what, let's go ahead and do this for a few weeks and it'll be worth it because afterwards we're going to get back to life, not as it used to be, but maybe even better. So every time you wash your hands, every time you, you isolate yourself, every time you do the right thing to help curb this pandemic, I want you to imagine you're setting yourself up for that, that brand new future and you're doing it for a purpose. Right? It's okay to pay the price as long as you get the result at the end of the day, right? as long as we get the reward, the harvest. Right? Planting seeds is never easy, but it's all about the harvest. Right? Lifting weights at the gym, reps. I know we, some of you miss your gym, you're probably crying right now like, oh, I wish I want my gym back. But we, we lift weights in the gym and we do the reps, not because that's fun, but because we like the results. So have a vision. If you don't have a vision for after this pandemic, you're gonna get caught in the muck and the mire and the stress and the panic and all that crap going on. Hey, obstacles are those things we see when we take our eyes off our goals. So reset, put your eyes on that future and let's go ahead and we're gonna get through this together. Remember one thing, you're not alone no matter what. Maybe we're physically separated but we're not going to be socially separated. We're not going to be spiritually separated. We're not going to be emotionally separated. So we're, going to, we're in this together, guys. And I've always said we're going to win together or we're going to lose together. And I don't lose. So we're going to make it to the top, right? Let's go, guys. I appreciate you all. I love you all. Please stay safe. Stay, health, stay healthy. Hopefully these three little tips gave you a little different way of thinking about things. And if you want to reach out and say hi, please feel free. Check out brokersnojoke.org. You can contact me through that or put a message down below and let's have a conversation. All right. Love you all. Take care.